Yep, the hairy sun's working too hard today, if you ask me. <sighs> oh, hi! <laughs> Is it hot where you are? It's scorching here in Hairyland. Hey, do you remember that really hot day in Hairyland when the ha-ha hairy... Oh, 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 don't tell them! Shush! Oh. You'll spoil it, Chris! <laughs> Once, there was a really hot day in Hairyland. And when the sun is really hot, you want to visit the Curly Swirly Meadow. Because in the Curly Swirly Meadow, right by Ringlet River, the hair on the wifty wafty willow tree grows and grows. And it looks like a wifty wafty rainbow. And Mahaha always has a plan for it. Today, she'd picked some wifty wafty hair and was going to make something special out of it for everyone. Well, you know what Ma's like. Mahaha! She's got a heart of gold. A heart of gold. Heart of gold. She's always having fun. There's fun for everyone. Under the hairy sun. She's oh, got oh, a heart oh, of gold. Oh, oh, got a heart of gold. Heart of gold. And just look what Ma was making. Yes, she'd used the wifty wafty willow hair for something really special. Something that would hide the hairy sun and keep everyone cool. Yes, today was the day Ma made the hairy hidey suns. Now up on the hill at Chateau Shampoo, someone had found something. Can you guess who? Boris Boohoo! What's he gonna do? We were watching from the hairy cactus tree. Boris had found an old pot of spiky hair goop in a dusty old cupboard. And he was trying it out on Boise. I think Boise's hair would go all spiky. <laughs> and Wiggy was right. It had gone all spiky. So he gave Boris an idea. An idea to make him lots of money. He could use the spikes on the hairy cactus tree to make lots of spiky hair goo. Oh, hide! So Boris started to pick the cactus leaves. And we had to keep dodging out of the way. Before long, Boris and Boise were squelching the leaves in a big tub. And we were watching from our hidey pipes. And now, Boris had to get all the spiky bits out of the goop. He needed a big strainer to strain the goop. So he decided to look through his hairy scary to see if he could find something in Hairyland to use as a strainer. And he saw Ma with a hairy hidey son. And Pa and Minnie and Nana were admiring it. And it looked like the perfect strainer. <laughs> Boris was so happy. <laughs> but how was he going to get a Heidi son to strain his cactus goop? He needed a plan. Boris needs a plan, a plan. He needs a plan as quick as he can. He needs a plan. He needs it quick. He needs a plan, a clever trick. What'll it be? What'll it be? What'll it be? Welcome back! Boris's plan was to send Boise to visit the Haha -ha Harrys with a little tub of spiky hair goop. Boise was very happy because he would see Minnie. And Boris told Boise to take them inside. <laughs> to show them how it worked. What's he up to? Not sure. He wants Boise to get all the ha ha hairies inside. I think we should follow Boise. So off we went on our pop a picky. Pop 
A little later, in the Ha Ha Harry's garden, everyone was very excited because Boise was showing them all the spiky hair goop. He told them all to come inside and he'd show them how it worked. And as they all went in, we landed in the hairy pear tree. Now up on the hill at Chateau Shampoo, Boris checked that all was going to plan. The Ha Ha Hairies had all gone inside and Ma had left the hairy Heidi son in the garden. So off he rushed to the Ha Ha Hairies garden. Shut up, Allah! Ha Ha! Meanwhile, back at the Ha Ha Hairies house, Ha looked like this. <laughs> Boris tippy-toed into the Ha Ha Harry's garden. He hid and peeped. <gasps> He's going to take the Harry Heidi son. Meanwhile, back inside the Ha Ha Harry's house, Ma looked like this. <laughs> <laughs> Boris tippy-toed towards the Harry Heidi son. He grabbed it off the table. <laughs> but someone was watching him. Chihuahua. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the Ha Ha Harry's house, Minnie looked like this. <laughs> <laughs> there was no way Chihuahua would let Boris <laughs> steal Ma's hidey Clarab. <laughs> But Boris had another plan. He'd take some wifty wafty hair and make his own Heidi Sun strainer for his cactus goop. Back in the Ha Ha Harry's house, Nana looked like this. <laughs> when they all came outside, they saw that Chiwa was sitting in the basket of wifty wafty hair. Aww. Maybe he'd like a Heidi son, thought Ma. <laughs> then Ma set to work to make Heidi sons for everyone, even Boise. <laughs> but back in the factory at Chateau Shampoo, Boris had made this. A big strainer out of wifty wafty hair to strain his cactus goop. He was pleased with it. But it wasn't near <laughs> as good as Ma's <laughs> And in the Ha Ha Harry's garden, Ma's work was done. You can twirl. You can swirl. With your wifty wafty Heidi sons. You can whirl. You're whirling and swirling around Twirling in the curly swirly meadow Round the wifty wafty willow tree Whirling, swirling, dizzy in your head Oh look at Ma and you will see One, two, three Fly in the sky <laughs> with your wifty wafty Heidi sons.
<laughs> if Boris had just asked Ma to make him a Heidi son, it would have been fine. <sighs> and everyone would have helped. Oh, yep, but Boris never asks. He's too proud. Mm. Silly Boris. Silly, silly Boris. <laughs> twirling and twirling around. Oh, I'd love a very Heidi son. You don't need one. We can fly with the popper picky. Oh, but the popper picky isn't all twirly and twirly. Twirly and twirly. Uh, careful. Twirly and twirly. Uh, you'll fall. <laughs>